Alright, hi guys. Just watched the Lewis Ortiz Deontay Wilder fight and we got the prediction right again. So that makes me a hundred percent prediction rate, you know, on my YouTube channel for boxing matches. Um I said that Lewis Ortiz was a very good boxer and he also fought well. In other words, he positioned himself well, he pressed. Um Deontay Wilder on the inside as well which um, was a bit of a game plan but he fought well up until I would have said the ninth round and to me I think that um, Deontay Wilder woke up in the ninth round and he began to box he, he didn't box up until the ninth round Deontay Wilder I believe he was behind um, he was a point behind um, until the tenth round um, when he got the knockout, um, the scorecard say that he was ahead. Nah, I'd never say that he was ahead until the the tenth round. I would say it was. I think the um, commentator had him about two or three points behind, but I I had him a point behind going into the tenth round. But he fought a perfect ninth round. Deontay Wilder. He boxed, um, which he didn't do for the other eight rounds. Um, he started to slip the um, slip Ortiz's jab very well. He began to land the jab on multiple occasions, and that really, um, I think that that just uh, came at the right time in the fight because Luis Ortiz looked a little bit tired by the time the tenth round um, came over. And once you know Deontay Wilder starts to starts to hit, that's when you got to worry. Um, because he did start to land his punches in the ninth round, as I said. Um, Ortiz was boxing well; he fought well up until then. Uh, so you got to look at Ortiz. Um, you know, obviously, both of them have got um, daughters with uh, special needs. Um, um, you know, he's had uh, uh, a drugs record, Ortiz, which. Um, Maybe in other times in history he he would have been banned, but because maybe whatever we're just living in very wicked days, I suppose. But giving him a chance, you know, I think maybe Wilder gave him a chance, or God gave him a chance to to fight for the heavyweight championship. And you can see here, I, I just think he's slightly out of shape. I mean, you, you look at Deontay Wilder; he's he proved he was a warrior tonight. He is a warrior. Um, I believe he fought to some game plan. He was defensive, as I said, very defensive up until the ninth round. He was behind, but you, you look at the shape he's in, and and I looked at his face even when he was he was knocked down, and I think it was, or I wasn't knocked down. Sorry, the seventh round, um, he was almost knocked down in the seventh, but I just looked at his face, you know, and he was still confident. He was almost smiling. I could still see he was smiling, and I thought, well. You know he's he's not worried, um, but the way he won the fight, you know, a, a perfect ninth round. He's quite quiet, just flipping the jab, and then the tenth round came round. He just it was like a storm. He you know the the bronze bomber. It was like bombs just being being thrown in the tenth, and it was uh, overwhelmed Ortiz. I think it was a right uppercut that. Um, won the fight, immediately the referee stepped in, you could have said, well give the guy a chance to get up, you know, I, I, I'm, I, I don't like this early stoppage stuff, count the guy out and then declare Wilder the winner, I don't know why they don't do that, you know, give him a chance to stand up, look at him in the eye, if he's staggering around, yes, yeah, stop the fight, but give him a chance, I don't like this, um, it, it was a bit of an early stoppage and it was, it was counted as a technical knockout, which I believe it was a knockout. It was a proper knockout because because he didn't move for several minutes, um, Lewis Ortiz. So I think that you know Anthony Joshua is going to look at look at that fight, look at the way Ortiz fought up until the ninth round, and I think Anthony Joshua is going to look at that and think, well, if I can get through um, Parker in the next fight, so it's going to give him an idea how he, how he's going to fight. Um, um, Deontay Wilder and I would suggest that um, 
Um, where are where is our man here? There he is, Anthony Joshua. I think that he's capable of of a, of a boxing victory against Wilder. He's got to look at that. He's a younger fighter. If if he fights in a similar fashion to what you know Ortiz did up until, as I said, the the eighth, the eighth round, then I think he's got a chance of winning in points if he stays out the way of Wilder but as we know Anthony Joshua's defence isn't the best you know he's, he's he can box a little bit he's powerful but his defence isn't isn't the best I would say uh, I would definitely say that um, you know Tyson Fury's defence is, is the best you know in, in, in most areas Tyson Fury is, is, is the better all round uh, boxer out of the heavyweights but um, I think that you know Josh was going to look at that and and, and, and see an opportunity uh, develop some type of game plan um, against uh, the warrior the bronze bomber I do like him um, I think he's a potential uh, unified undisputed heavyweight champion um, uh, I do rate him highly. Uh, I do like him. He, he does speak a lot of truth. He does speak a lot, but he does he does say a lot of truth as well. So I, I'm not sure if I like him wearing masks and all that, but that's just his style. I, I don't know why he does that. But yeah, he's a warrior, you know. And um, there's not many men that could go in and, and and defeat Wilder, but you have to go in with a game plan. It was working. Ortiz, it was working as I said for most of the fight, but uh, I think just just look at him. He's just slightly, probably out of shape, I would say, and and I think he tired towards the end. So yeah, it was a I think it was a very good fight. Um, there there wasn't an awful lot of punches landed, but I think that was due to Ortiz's boxing skill. He was able to slip a lot of uh, jabs in the first eight rounds. Um, kept the pressure on him as I said so it was enjoyable we'll, we, we, we'll see how um, Joshua versus Parker goes in I think it's about two weeks time two or three weeks which he obviously got to go for Joshua um, on that one because j just his sheer size and strength is getting him through fights but you know his, his, his skill level you know his experience is growing but um, you know I'd uh, you know Parker could could win it. He he could win it if he goes in with a game plan against Joshua, exposes Joshua's weaknesses. If he lands a few punches, you never know what can happen. Parker could could walk out the victor there. Wish them both all the best, and uh, I think it's going to be Wilder and Joshua in the showdown, maybe in about uh, let's let's probably say the summer. You know, the big summer fight at Wembley, I would say. And it's all down to you know the paycheck and I hope that um, you know if uh, the bronze bomber has to maybe go down to 45% he wants 50-50 but if he has to if he has to go down a little bit then to make it happen then then I hope he can you know and then and then he'll be the undisputed champion and he, he can be the guy that um, you know that the uh, gets the big paychecks in by that time. So anyhow, thanks for watching this. God bless you.